back shop Wednesday. How are you today? I'm good. I'm back. Made it back from all the gallivanting around that we did in Colorado and Fort Worth at the knife show. And yeah, I was going to do workshop Wednesday last week and we did plenty of clowning around, but I did not remember to do workshop Wednesday. Had me distracted. So all's well, but I made it back I'm plugging away and it is definitely TCAAAAA show season. And here I go. I will show you what I got going. Look, I got company. What are you doing, dude? Drago. What? Damn cat. All right, quit looking at Drago. So let me, I got the light on here. I'm gonna turn that off. So I got TCAA show 2023 bit number one rocking and rolling. Tribute to my buddy Jim Edwards again. Um, this is one, I think he calls this the fraturity shank. I'm not, I'm always confused what he calls them, but anyhow this is this is what i got going on it's what i got got going you can see right in here got some silver inlay inside of that we're gonna have some gold wire go inside no i didn't forget to do parts i'll show you design here in a minute all of this will be relief engraved and uh, i got the channel going here for the inlay for the silver put the silver in first in these areas in here and here there will be some gold ribbon going in through the scrolls and the leaves and all that business, so we are tricking it out. And then here on the sides, you can see the gold in between the silver pinstripe and going on there. So lots to do. This is the mouthpiece for oh this is the mouthpiece for it. Um tribute to my mentor Greg Darnell. So got two individuals that have been huge in my career from day one basically. Um but the, Greg called this the the high port, it's three eighths high port. I forged it all out, which was extremely fun for me, getting some of these these uh, square corners up here. And then, of course, I had to put a little spoon to the back of it just to trick it out a little more. Well, Fuzz, you want to be a part of it? Head gum, plenty of interruptions. But we got we got uh, got that. Did an old trick where I cut the port. Usually, I take this and I and I weld. Uh, I weld that all, I weld this pin in, which I did here too, I welded it in, but I didn't want to have to engrave all this with the mouthpiece in it, so I cut my pipe, and I'll close it back up once I get all this engraved, and there we go, so a little different, little different trick there, um, here I'll show you all the, I'll show you all the bit shank, that it's not going to be that color, but y'all can see the little gold, uh, going in through there and then then oh, good gosh can't get the thing to blow up any bigger so there's our gold that's all relief you can see the leaves going in and out of the borders there all that business got to be plenty fun the reason it's that weird color is because my my i think i'm out of ink on one of my my printer but oh well all's good <laughs> And I got one other deal. This is a long time coming. I haven't showed you because mostly I can't run the dang thing yet. I'm trying, I'm learning, but it's been an experience. So I have a close friend named Edwin Eppenauer who wanted to buy him a big old fancy machine and cut parts and do things. And I got talking technology and there's things of water jet and, and uh, fiber lasers and all this business. Well, something that's become more affordable and easily uh, accessible, more easily accessible is a fiber laser and it will cut everything from silver to steel, stainless, um, brass. It cuts, it'll cut all kinds of good things. It, it's not like a water jet, water jet will cut anything, but anyhow, this fiber laser is very precise, very technical. Edwin said, I'm gonna buy one. I said, I said buddy, you have a hard time with the iPhone. You're gonna have a hard time with this for sure. And he says, a computer? And I said, yes, it's lots of computer stuff. Long story short, me and Edwin are partners the machine. He purchased it. It's in my shop. Um, we'll have a little side hustle. We'll do some custom cutting as I get good enough to run the dang machine. But as of right now, I'm not. I'm getting closer, getting a lot closer. And those shanks that you just saw, they were cut out. So yes, a traditional argument's gonna show up. Everybody's gonna be mad, oh, you're cheating. Let me show you what a cutout part looks like. That's it. This is rough, not too good. That is basically no different than a bandsaw. So if you look at this part, am I cheating? Well, I don't think so. It just took a lot less time to cut that out. 
um, than, than going to the bandsaw and cutting all this and going to the milling machine and cutting all that business out. Here's little rings. This was some of the practice stuff for that shank that I had, that I had, look at there. There's a whole bunch of mess ups that didn't work. Just me trying to learn the parameters of that machine. So if there's anybody out there that has a fiber laser, knows how to run the damn things and got a uh, wisdom, I'm all the time sharing wisdom. I would appreciate some in return and tell me how to run the damn thing. Damn, back to what I'm doing, back to my preaching. So anyhow, here's the shank. Um, that's, that's, uh, that's what it is. And that's how I get started and away I go. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. And, and it's technology is a wonderful thing to me. It takes time to learn it, just like running a hammer and chisel. And I do believe that there are fundamental skill sets that a person absolutely must do. First one of them is learn how to draw. If you can't draw your design and you got this fancy machine, it ain't gonna do a damn thing for you. You're still gonna be ugly, right? Learn how to draw, learn how to do a good job. So don't skip the skill sets that it takes to create beautiful pieces of art. Um, or functional art or whatever it is you're doing. But uh, technology is a wonderful thing. Don't ignore it because you think you're cheating. You makers, I'm preaching to you makers out there. Get a hold of technology, use it, utilize your advantage. Don't skip steps in learning though. And fundamentals are fundamentals. You absolutely have to do it. Um, if you call me and say, Willie, I wanna be a bit maker, give me your design. Wrong, you're cheating. I'll give you my design, it ain't gonna hurt me, but it's killing you. It's preventing you from learning how to do what it is that you need to do and, and to provide your own art for the world. So uh, learn how to draw, learn how to design. You send me a design, yeah, I'll cut it out for you. You say, Willie, give me your design. I don't think that's a great idea. If I'm gonna be helping you learn how to be a bit and spur maker. So anyhow, that's my preaching. And uh, uh, it is a, it, did I show it to you? I didn't show it to you. Here it is. It is a big old thing. And it is all filled up in my shop, and I guarantee it, it caused uh, it caused all kinds. Look at this, it's like a spaceship. And there's the fancy little deal in there. And I, I put my metal inside that table right there, three by four table, so it's not huge, um, but big enough for a bit shank and a pair of spurs, that's for sure. And that little deal there is the computer. And uh, I draw it all normal, just like I always did. Draw it on the computer and then I send it over here and through all kinds of button and pushing and transformers and oxygen and water chiller. See the little red O's right there, water chiller. Holy cow. There's all kinds of things I've had to learn. But it goes in there and it cuts it all out. And... Way I go. I get started. Get started putting the art and the fire, buying stuff on there. So anyhow, big thank you to my friend Edwin Eppenauer for joining this adventure with me and uh, thank you to everybody for following it collectors i'll preach to y'all too i know that there's value in a hammer and chisel and a person that can do all that and i don't don't lose that don't lose that thought um but also understand what technology actually does and if i was plugging this my art into this machine and pushing go and it came out like what you see under that vice under that microscope in there if it came out like that and uh, I didn't have to do a damn thing and I could produce 10 million of these things in a month. Yes, that's a problem. There's no value in that. I'm still only gonna be able to do 30 to 50 pieces a year and there will be more on this. Um, as the podcast is rocking and rolling, as y'all know, me and Carrie have, have uh, glanced over the top of technology and some of that stuff, but uh, y'all got questions on it, I'll be happy to share. Um, I'm going down this adventure um, to, to see what happens, but all the machine is doing is you see that that's a milling machine still a machine where's the trick where's the line drawn in the sand what can you use what can you not use okay to use that but not that come on man it's just it's just uh just cut out parts and away we go and my heart and soul will get put in every piece that i do so hope everybody understands that and uh, the reason i kind of get on kind of sensitive about that yeah we, have, we makers that use technology have to uh, face that and explain it is what we're doing. It's all education. It's education for collectors, education for uh, for the makers. So all's well. Happy Workshop Wednesday. Sorry for ranting and raving. I will see y'all next week. And if you got, oh, engraving class next week. Probably won't do a, probably won't do a Workshop Wednesday next week either. Y'all getting cheated. Um, Patreon's rocking and rolling. And the podcast is rock and roll. Carrie said we had 14 down, 14, yeah, 14, 1400 downloads, which that's cool. I think we ain't no Joe Rogan, but yeah, we're getting some, getting some interest. I hope y'all find value in 
humor in what it is that Carrie and I do. So if you need something, holler at me. See you soon. Adios.